Welcome everyone to Mobile Gaming Test. In front of me, I have Genshin Impact running on my iPad 9th generation. So let me just show you, this is the iPad 9th gen. If we go to the about page of settings, you can see under model name, iPad 9th generation. So let's just take a look at the graphic settings real quick. So if I go to settings, graphics, you can see I am able to run this game at high graphics, but 60 FPS. And there is a frame rate counter, which you will be able to see at the top right hand side of your screen. This captures the live frame rate from the iPad 9th generation. If there are any frame drops, you'll be able to see it in the video. Also, let's take a look at the battery percentage. You can see currently it is at 97%. At the end of the gameplay, I'll check the battery percentage again. So make sure you watch the full thing. And that will give you a rough idea of how much battery drain to expect while playing Genshin Impact. Finally, I have done this tutorial a thousand times for these videos. So if you feel my pain, make sure to leave a like. We'll also check out my playlist once you're done in the description down below for all the other games I played on the iPad 9. We're talking PUBG, Mobile Legends, uh, League of Legends, Wild Rift, Fortnite. This goes on to so check out that playlist once you're done with this gameplay video in the description down below. And with that being said, let's do this tutorial for the thousandth time and uh, yeah, enjoy the gameplay. I think this is the sixth time I've seen this cutscene. Sixth time in a month. Travelers. <laughs> 
Alright guys, that's going to end it for the gameplay, so my overall thoughts are when you go into combat, this game lags quite bad, if I'm looking at the frame rate, like as low as 20 FPS, and it just spikes and then eventually it will recover to 60, but otherwise, everything works perfectly fine, do note, if you're like sprinting our call like I was, the game will eventually start to uh, drop frames, like drop down to 50 FPS, so you may want to play it at low graphic settings or just play it at 30 FPS and the lag spikes won't really be that noticeable. Uh, honestly, if you want to get a device for Genshin Impact, this is by far the best device, the iPad Mini 6. It can run this game at max settings, 60 FPS, not a single frame rate drop, and this costs 100 quid more than the iPad 9th generation. Sure, you do have a smaller display, but you know, you have a laminated display and far better performance for the price. So honestly, if you want a Genshin Impact device, just get the iPad Mini 6th Gen. It's basically the best mobile gaming device and it only costs 500 pounds. More even joking, it is better than the M1 iPad Pro and by a lot as well. So what I recommend you guys do right now is check the end screen for all the other games that I've played on the uh, iPad 9th generation. Again, we're talking PUBG, League of Legends, Wild Rift, Mobile Legends, all that good stuff. So I recommend you check it out on the end screens. If you don't see the end screens, check it out in the description down below. Let's take a look at the battery percentage. 93%, meaning in 9 minutes I dropped, I think, I can't do math, 4%. So you will drop 4% in 10 minutes. You can do the math to see how long you'll be able to play. Uh, whatever this game's called. I'm stupid. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.